all the tanks you got to upgrade. And and then I did get one DVD at the end, which was so so at last. July 20th, 1990. This tape did have a pretty good when I got it, but it fell off. This is one of two features of bootleg tapes you got today, the other one also later. There were no surprises at the beginning, but at the end it has a um, blank screen which lasts until the very end of the tape. And I will get the down tape of eight heads in the double bag back in the credit in the barrel condition. As you can tell by the fact that there's no UPC code in the back, this did come packaged with the, with the Nat 99 Indiana Jones box set, which I do have. 23 guitars and two. The number 15 channel 4. The tape saw on this tape was replaced by the original owner. And as you can tell, one of the roots is replaced. I'm pretty sure this tape might be spliced at the end. Because it was not spliced at the beginning. I also got the black and white version a month ago. This, no, colorized version a month ago. This is the black and white version upgrade. April 6, 2000. I'll take it out, home material, because I'm not going to sell. 15 v i 5 I also have this on, I also have this movie on Baymax as well. So I will keep this tape until I get a Baymax player. June 6, 991. The number 9th, 1990. So many as I got the V, because it's back in the correcting room this one. And I woke at the 1 through 1 and it's back in the correcting room of the barrel condition. June 4th, 97. I know Colin Petty used to have a completely damaged copy of his tape. I'm not sure if my copy will be damaged or not. My copy is a full rental. This is one of two MGM Contero Classic Sets I got today. The other one also later. First Strike, I always have the Nat 99 DVD of as well. And this one, I will get the demo tape from Orion back in the credits of the Barrel Condition. August 13, 1999. December 2083. Again, I got the VHS back in the correction, and I have the um, Nat 98, Nat 99 DVD of this movie as well. 45 and 97. I will get this direct as putting this one back in the correction with the in. May 27, May 28, Nat 99. January 28, March 6, I'm free. I will get the MG and Moon Time tape with this one back in the credit with the Barrel Condition. March 9th, 1992. Yeah, it looks like it. I will get the Canadian copy of this back in the credit with the Barrel Condition. May 25th, 96. I hear this movie is terrible, but. I've seen the first movie, and I thought the first movie was alright, and I've never seen this movie, so I don't know what I would think of this one. Here's the other MGM Tear Crack save we got today. July 11, 2000, so the day before my first birthday, this tape turned 24 years old four days ago. Four seven nine nine. What do we say with this tape, though? 
Yeah, this one came broken. In fact, rub the wet. Careful with that. I can show you what happened with this tape. It, it's coming apart over here. The tape surprised me still play so, but I am going to replace the tape cell with my old copy that I'm going to be getting rid of. Four figure towers of four. In case you're wondering, I will be doing this as a case where it goes my old copy is tape. Since I got it all because of the red on me. My first Hollywood gold tape I have, this is a Canadian copy. And I will get the MGM silver top tape with this one back in the crack and the Condition. There might be a Dania cup, but I have a feeling it's going to be ruined. And I want to keep the end with one intact, because I like the end with one to say And I like the gold waivers on that. The way we say is PG. I don't think this movie's weighted. <laughs> Once again, I got the VHS of this one back in the correction. And I have the 2000 MGM DVD of this movie as well. December 5th, 1990, it looks like. Oh, where's the print? Fifth figure 1990. And again, this one I got the VHS of back in correction. Hall of Duty rental. 29 figure 97. And you saw a newer Hall of Duty anyway, well. Same name of one over 10 or so later. The two post tail 19 upgrades. This one's case, and this one is the other video of boot I got, I got today. Also, this one has no surprises at the beginning or at the end. And this, I also have, well, I am going to begin one of my DVDs moving out. We'll get the DVD back if it has the words in that any cover. Finally, I can get one of my recorded copies moving out. Because I got the VHS back in the correction. Don't think it's going to be a printed underneath this Hall of Duty anyway, and it's, and it's newer. Please just because it's on the newer tape cell. And now onto the DVD. Technically, they also get free hour DVDs as well, but this is the only one I'm keeping because this one is extremely hard to come across on Blu-ray, and who knows if we'll ever get it.